Unpacking the question, do you have a fan? Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a common yet intriguing question, do you have a fan? This simple query can hold various meanings depending on the context. So, grab your notebooks, and let's decode this together, ensuring you can understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. The most straightforward interpretation of, do you have a fan, relates to the device used for cooling. A fan is an electric device that moves air around, helping to reduce the temperature in a room or create a more comfortable environment. So, when someone asks this question, they might be inquiring if you possess such a device, possibly because the weather is warm or the room feels stuffy. Example conversation. Person A, it's really hot in here. Do you have a fan? Person B, yes, I do. Let me turn it on for you. Interestingly, the phrase can also carry a figurative meaning. In a different context, a fan refers to a person who admires someone or something, such as a celebrity, a sports team, or a music band. Thus, the question, do you have a fan, might be asked to inquire if someone has supporters or admirers. Example conversation, person A, after your performance last night, do you have a fan? Person B. Yes, a few people came up to me to express their admiration. It's essential to understand the cultural and social contexts where this question might be posed. The interpretation can vary widely depending on the setting and the relationship between the people involved. Awareness of these nuances ensures effective communication and helps avoid misunderstandings. Key point, always consider the context and the relationship between the speakers when interpreting this question. We hope this exploration of the question, do you have a fan, has been enlightening. Whether it's about beating the heat or gaining admirers, this phrase holds more than meets the eye. Remember, understanding the context is key to mastering English language nuances. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!